All right, hello. I want to show you a serious vulnerability in Microsoft and the fix, or at least the workaround. So I've made a MicrosoftOutlook.com account here, and I'm logged into it, called SamCCSF Demo. I added this account to a Windows 11 virtual machine, so I can log in with it. So if I click here, here's SamCCSF Demo. And um, I had to I gave I created an account and logged in with a pin here. Um, all right, and uh, so that's fine. And RDP is enabled, and this is an administrator account, so it has RDP privileges. So that everything is working as Microsoft intended. You log in with the Outlook.com account, and you manage the account privileges in the cloud. The problem is this. Let me log out of this machine locally. Okay. If you change your password in the cloud, so I go to my Microsoft account. All right, and I change my password, which will eventually, I don't want to do this adding a phone number. Hopefully they will let me, yeah, they will. Now I can go to change password. Okay, so my current password is p at ssw0rd twice, and I'm going to change it to p at ssw0rd one two three four exclamation point. All right, so I have a new password, and you can see it's a different length. So I save that. All right, so now Microsoft has changed my password and um, in the cloud, and they want me to do a verification step, which I guess I'll do just to make sure everything is completed here. So they want me to verify at my backup email account, which I've got ready to go here. Okay, so here's a new single-use code. So I enter the code. And uh, all right, so I'm back into my Microsoft account with the new password. Now, I bring up Windows, um, the Windows app on my Mac, which is the new modern replacement for RDP, and I connect with remote desktop connection. Um, and let me check and make sure that that is picking up on the screen. And it's not really, so I'm going to move this and try again. All right, there we go. Ah, it still opens kind of over to the side and in the wrong place. All right, so let me just close the Microsoft app entirely and reopen it so that the, um, that's the Windows app. So hopefully the Mac OS will stop putting the pop-up in a stupid place. My, oh, it's determined to put that pop-up in a stupid place. All right. Uh, I think you can see it well enough, though, to do the job here. Um... All right, I put in my cloud account, which is Sam Demo, uh, Sam CCSF, at Outlook.com, Outlook.com, and I put in the new password I just created, which is p at ssw0rd1234 bang. And I continue, and it won't take it. The credentials did not work. You cannot log in with the new password you just created you must log in with the old password, which is p at ssw0rd repeated twice, ssw0rd. This is bizarre and very troubling. So now I'm in, and it has maximized my window, which is going to make the video kind of messed up, but I can shrink it down and bring it down here. So you can see I'm logged in by RDP, and I really am that cloud person. Um, I think maybe if I click this, it'll, yep, there you are. I'm logged in as Sam CSS Demo using my old password, which I changed. This is very bad. This means if you find a compromised account and you try to fix it by changing a password, it does not stop RDP getting in with the old password. And even more bizarrely, you can't use the new password after changing it with RDP. There seems to be no way 
to get the Windows operating system to actually check the cloud password. Instead, it's determined to use the old cached password. So, uh, there is a fix, which Tessa Anselm found out last night and wrote up, and I'll have links in this video. The fix is to log in locally and click this button, I forgot my PIN. This will now send you down a long, painful process. Um, and last time I tried it, I actually had to restart my machine. Now it says it sent a code to my cloud account, but as of last time, that was absolutely not true. And I suspect this might be why Microsoft did this. Um, yeah, all there is is an email from them telling me my password changed several minutes ago, but this new email that they supposedly sent me is not true. They did not send me any email. This is what I think, so I think the, pro the process of uh, changing your PIN is so broken. I'm trying to get it. Send the code, and no code appears. Now, I found out experimentally that the only way to actually change your PIN is to restart the machine, which it does not tell you anywhere here. Um, so, you know, I think what's going on here is Microsoft's cloud authentication system is sort of half-baked and broken, and they know it doesn't work very well, and that's why they use this cache credential, but it seems also to be poorly thought through. I mean, one reason you might change your password is because you forgot the old one. Anyway, um, I forgot my PIN. I click it, and it does nothing, which seems to be normal. You have to click it again. Then it's going to let me in, I think, by going to my recovery email. We'll send a code. No, but still determined to tell me it's sending something to Outlook. So I may not be able to demonstrate this live now. I already gave up once and tried again. Eventually, by restarting the machine and trying over and over, it would eventually send a code to my Gmail. The code to Outlook never works. The code to Gmail works. When you are able to change your PIN, if you can find any way to get through this process, it will force you to log in with the new password to the cloud account, and that fixes the problem. So this is a very clumsy, unreliable workaround, but it is the only way I know so far, the only way I've found, to get it to stop accepting the old password over RDP. So this is the uh, best workaround we have found to this problem, and we really need Microsoft to come clean and admit this is a problem and write up exactly what's going on here and write up how to fix this. Um, Microsoft currently is pretending this is intended behavior and everything is fine, but it very much is not fine. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you, and I was hoping to demonstrate the solution, but uh, as you can see, the solution is so painful, it'll make a boring video. The solution is to keep restarting, trying again and again, until this process finally lets you through. Uh, not a good solution.